As we've traveled the last five years in our RV to all the national parks, we'd love to stop at places that are a little bit unique that you, our viewers, may not have seen. So today is really special. We're going to the icebreaker. And we're gonna learn how they break through 30 feet of ice in the um, Great Lakes in order to keep the shipping moving all winter long. So we're aboard the retired icebreaker Mackinac in service from 1944 to 2006. And in 2006, we became a floating museum. So you are gonna feel a little bit of movement aboard the ship today because it's windy and wavy. So you're gonna be going down to the engine room and up to the pilot house. You're on six different levels. Everything you see is authentic, was actually aboard the ship when she was a working vessel. You're in charge of your uh, tour pace, so you can go as fast or as slow as you want, and you'll be following arrows that look like anchors that have numbers on them. This is the uh, birthing area for women. In 1944, it was all male, but they started hiring women in 2000. This yes, engine stuff. Six engines. It needed a lot of muscles, didn't it? pump water between the yellow highlighted tanks. We got five pumps, we got two aft, there's actually one down here between the engines, you can't see the deck plates there, and two more here. So we can pump the water and rock the ship, port and starboard at four and a half. And we can pump 112,000 gallons of water from one side of the ship to the other every 90 seconds. 90 seconds? 90 seconds. And that's what really gave it the power. Well, it, it helped us break ice. free if it got jammed up in there. It's like rocking your car off a snowbank. The most of the power came from running all six of these engines and driving these two motors back here. We get 10,000 shaft horsepower out of this thing. She weighed over 10 million pounds. 10 million pounds. We carried 347,000 gallons of diesel fuel and we filled it up once a year. Imagine how noisy it was on here. The whole ship was noisy. <laughs> we don't have the luxury like the newer boats where you watch TV underway. We couldn't hear it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so. Yeah, we got steam with three boilers over there. Back on my first two were on here prior to 82. Thanks, Lisa. We had different boilers, and the heating systems for the engines for the lube oil and the jacket water were steam heat. So, because we kept these at 140 degrees. 36 feet of ice. That's the drive ship. On the engine. These are the bunks. There they are. And here's the Coast Guard uniform. My dad was in the Coast Guard in World War II.
the towing winch. Probably got a lot of action. We hope you enjoy visiting the icebreaker and have a new appreciation of keeping our lane shipping lanes open in the winter. Um, so stay tuned for more of our National Park videos. Thank you all for watching and please subscribe to our channel.